contest between some of the East Coast's finest female footballers awaits. Players from Boston and Baltimore, Washington team up and get ready to tackle the players from Montreal and New York. It's fun, it's exciting, it's women's footy. And it's coming up next right here on Stateside Footy. Again, we're at the ground here at Minuteman Regional Technical High School in Lexington, Massachusetts. It's an all-day Aussie Rules event, and we continue our coverage on this episode of Stateside Footy, a cable television program that features Australian rules football as it's played right here in the United States. Along with camera people Savannah Hubbard, John Semino, Stacey Robert, Connor Shoot, and Kyle Shoot, I'm Bill Robert, and today I'm joined by Philadelphia Hawks forward Brian Barish, who will help me bring you this special mixed edition match between the ladies of the Demons and Eagles footy clubs and the gals from the New York and Montreal sides. Today's match will consist of four 12 and a half quarters and will feature the ladies who played in the Lady Demons tournament earlier today. Once again, the Montreal Angels took the honors with two straight wins. The Lady Demons had a win and a loss, while the Lady Magpies suffered consecutive defeats. So now the teams will coalesce into two mixed sides and play a match. But once that's done, the Demons men's team will square off against the other visiting team today, the Philadelphia Hawks. We'll be here for that game as well, and we'll bring you that tilt between the Demons and the Hawks on the next episode of Stateside Footy. First, though, the ladies have the stage, and the Boston-Baltimore-Washington Demon Eagles are about to take on the Montreal-New York Angel Pies or something like that. We'll serve that matchup for you next, right here on this edition of Stateside Footy.
what we're going to do is basically just call it Magpies versus Demons because obviously they, they're wearing the jumpers. So right now we've got uh, players going out in the uh, Boston Jumpers, Boston Demons Jumpers, and also the uh, New York Lady Magpies Jumpers. And so we're going on recognition here, so uh, trying to do what we can here. But uh, this is going to be a four-quarter match. It'll be four 12-and-a-half-minute quarters. And then later today, obviously, I mentioned Brian, uh, one of the uh, co-commentators here. He's actually here today to play for his club, the Philadelphia Hawks, who are taking on the Boston Demons men's team. And that'll take place later on. And that'll actually be in our next edition of Stateside Footy. And they're getting set, to, uh, just about set to ball it up there with the uh, umpire, Bruce Rogers, getting set to uh, toss the ball into space, up for grabs, as it were. And all the players are getting lined up. And uh, let's see, it looks like uh, the starting uh, ruck people in the uh, demon side, it's going to be, uh, well, let's see, you know, it doesn't look to be uh, Lean Hansen. I believe it's going to be Alyssa Green. And Alyssa Green's going to be going up against, I believe that's going to be uh, Heather Serpico. Just double checking that here. And so what this is going to be, this is going to be basically uh, Demons Mixed versus New York Mixed. And it comes up, and it's hit up by the Lady Magpies, but getting it now for the Demons, Holly Tufel, who's then taken down. And the ball goes to ground, and the uh, Lady Pie will look to try and move it right now. But it's taken there, and uh, on the move, Lady Demons kick toward the goals. And almost marked, Andy Williams has it in front, but she can't get to it. She shepherded it off the ball. And we've got a whistle, and we've got the signal. Let's see, it's going to be, I believe, a, the free kick. Looks like tackling without the ball, Bill. Okay. So the free kick is going to the Lady Demons, it looks like. Not sure who's got the ball there, but uh, pretty quickly you'll have uh, Boston, uh, the Demons, going for their first shot. And I think that missed everything, or did it? Nope. That's a goal? That's a goal. That's a goal. From this angle, I can't tell squat, and I didn't actually see who kicked it either. But uh, it's uh, one straight six so far for the Lady Demons. And they bring the ball back up to center. A uh, field a little larger than it was before, actually. What we have here is, and we mentioned the mixed teams, they're playing 18 a side here, which is actually a, a full-size uh, complement to a footy side. And uh, actually the, setting up the field, because after this, obviously, we mentioned the uh, Demons and the Hawks are going to be playing on this field in this configuration. And they toss it back up, and knocked down and over. Back to ground, and taken by the uh, Lady Pies. But then they look to kick ahead. And let's see, Lakata's got it there. Licata tries to kick it and gets it over, but then they get it out to, to Casillas. Casillas on the wing, kicking it over, and almost marked there. And I believe that was, uh, let's see here, going front there, that's uh, number three. Oh, I have no idea who that is. Kicked the head, though, and here we go again, uh, trying to find Andy Williams up front. The ball's going to roll. Williams going for it, being pursued. And uh, the Lady Pies pick it up, and let's see here. Battle for the ball. I think they're just going to ball it up. Yes, they are. It'll be uh, tossed up for grabs in the uh, Lady Demons left forward pocket. Up the ball goes, and it's hit out to advantage by the Lady Pies, and they try and move it ahead, but it's going to be stopped there and squashed, and, and once again, they're going to call it. So it'll be balled up once again. Autumn Irvin in there, one of the stalwarts in the defensive line for the Magpies. And that's a kick out, and that actually just makes it stays in, but it's going to go out along the boundary, and as a result, we are going to have it tossed up for another boundary throw in. Goes in from the boundary there, and goes over everybody. And with it now, that's two full. She tries to get it out. Sandy Destra's there, uh, but she can't get it. It's picked up uh, by the Lady Pies, and they're moving now. Almost a tackle there. In fact, a uh, nice job there. Gang tackle with Green and also with a two full. Kick there, and oh, Destra can't mark it. It was uh, labeled, kicked right to her. And let's see, we've got a, I believe it's a tug on the jumper. And who's going to get the free kick here? It's going to be uh, going to Sandy Destra of the Lady Demons. And she's setting up for the free kick right now. She's got a couple of players in front on the lead. Let's see, going up there, and they're just going to let it go. And let's see here. Looks like it's going to be rushed through for a behind. Or is it? Um, did I just see two fingers, Brian? Uh, I think you might have. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, two flags, so that's another goal. Big pack there. No idea who kicked it, but uh, it's two straight 12 now. Out of chaos comes clear, uh, comes clarity, as it were. Okay. 
The field, as you mentioned, Bill, one of the reasons they, they also shifted the field around, there's a dip directly across from us that uh, they've deemed kind of dangerous with all the moisture on the field. Mm -hmm. Of course, the other thing that comes into play is right in front of us is the remnants of a baseball field uh, that is uh, rather soupy in this weather. As a uh, ball goes to ground now, both teams battle for it. New York kind of comes out with it there, shoveled forward and then kicked backwards by the Demons. Nice hand pass across. And now picked up by number 18. She's taken down. Oh, nice tackle, tackle there. Dispossessed. Casillas as the ball comes loose and then kicked out by the Demons. Over to take the mark there was uh, number 25 for uh, Boston. Is that Judith Stein again? Looks like Judith Stein, yeah. It is. Stein puts the ball into play. A ski jump ball high in the air. She didn't drop it very well. It's, it's tap clear again. Casillas able to get her left hand on it. And the ball is taken down. Ball comes loose. Big pack of players there. Another throw down. It's loose, picked up again, and again, that's Stein with it, but Bruce Rogers says, give it to me, I'll ball it up right here. As I say, last time I saw this many throwdowns from New York, I was watching Bobby Flay. <laughs> I like that. That was pretty good. <laughs> as the ball plays continues, this ball gets shoveled forward again by New York, and the Magpies get it forward, uh, again, picking it up. That was one of the Montreal players. I believe that's uh, Lindsay Belzy. Yes. And let's see, uh, holding the ball. Free kick uh, going to... Looks like Hanson. Eileen Hanson's got it now for the Lady Demons. Good defensive pressure in the middle of the field there. And she's just going to kick it ahead. And let's see. Bounces off the hands of Drea Casillas. Licata's got it now. Christina Licata tries to get it to the boot. Just a little bit of a grubber. And uh, that actually wound up uh, almost could have been a throw. Lisa Arredondo kicks it ahead now. Heading towards uh, forward 50 once again for the Lady Demons. And uh, battle forward along the ground. Comes out now and uh, kind of a shank kick. And marked. Marked and then taken down. And actually, that was uh, fortunate for the Lady Demons. She was, uh, the mark was paid, and then she was taken down. Lucky In some cases, it. yeah, they could have gotten a 50-meter penalty for that. Oh, Sarah, uh, Sarah Morin tries to get... get oh, my goodness! That was a big crunch there! Who was that? That was a... Uh, <laughs> see who that was. That was a, a heck of a hit there. That's... Uh, uh, Zidane Chara would have been proud of that. Oh, absolutely. Chara ra boom -dia. Yes. Uh, I'm but, pandering to your Boston Bruins fandom, as you can see. Oh, thank you, yes. As the ball comes spinning back in the play now, Casillas able to pick it up, and a whistle looks like a push in the back there. Uh, Casillas normally a fullback with this 18 aside configuration. She's playing more of a midfield position, mm -hmm. and Casillas will put the ball in the play. And two demons there goes through all their hands, picked up by one of the Magpies, gets ball to boot. Lakata coming near it, but she's able to drift free. Morin. That is uh, Morin there, and a whistle. As and marked. Like it was marked. Marked in defense by the Lady Pies. He'll kick it out now. Trying to go just right up the corridor here. And oh, almost taken there by, uh, once again, by uh, Heather Serpico. She's uh, taken the ground by a couple of Lady Ds. And uh, it's out. Ball's out and uh, soccer to head. And Sandy Destra's in the area there. And uh, a couple of the uh, Lady Pies as well. And uh, they're going to uh, try and uh, move it out now. And uh, actually winds up going in the Lady Ds direction against Sandy Destra being kind of mauled, but she's still able to move the ball ahead, and uh, there's another whistle, and they're just going to ball it up as the ball, once again, is tied up along the ground. Into the first quarter we are. Uh, right now, the Lady D's lead by two straight kicks, two straight 12 to nothing, and that could be three straight kicks. That was pretty. That was oh, actually oh, just a uh, minor score. Pretty. It was still very pretty. And just like, in, uh, just like the, with the two goals, I have no idea who kicked it. <laughs> it all looks the same from here, Bill. Yeah. Of course, the, the important part is the uh, Lady D's taking the lead there. And the, uh, the kick in, marked. And, oh, there we go, Holly Tuffel, once, Holly Tufel once again. Tufel has been taking marks left and right today. Demon's He's able to get free a little bit and take those marks. Got some great hands here. Can she match it with a kick? It's actually going wide, and it's going to go off a couple of hands. And uh, actually winds up uh, going out of bounds in the uh, forward pocket. So in the right forward pocket of the Lady D's, still a good result for them. They still have an opportunity in their forward 50. And but the Lady Pies will get possession, and they'll try and move it ahead. Goes to the ground there. And uh, seeing a number five there wearing uh, Lady D's colors. Or is that Lady Pies? I think it was the Demons. Yeah. For a second there, I thought that might have been Anna Belford, but she's with Montreal, so I, I would think that she'd be on the uh, Montreal team, but maybe not. Maybe well, there are a number of Montreal players playing, I think, for both teams here. Okay. Which, 
once again, like I said, we're not going to get all the players' names, but uh, we'll try and get you the ones that, that we do know. So uh, please do bear with us today. Uh, the mark taken at center there, and Emily Reel's got a long kick on, on the card, or obviously won't, won't, won't kick for goal from here, but uh, she still is able to make a really nice long kick into the forward 50. And oh, almost taken again by the Lady D's. Nice lead there, Holly Tufel almost getting her hands again. I guess you could say today her hands have been too full because she's been marking everywhere. Oh, that's a big tackle there. Sarah Morin gets hauled down there. I believe that was uh, Kira Leon for the Lady Magpies who uh, took her down there. You mentioned that, real quick, you mentioned that goal, uh, or that kick from Real. That's about where she kicked the game winner against uh, Calgary last year. That's right, In, it, against the wind too, right into the wind. Kicked by Tufel, and it's going to go through, and I think it uh, went wide. Or actually, or did it do anything? Yeah, I, went, uh, I, haven't, <clears throat> I haven't seen the signal, but they appear to be setting uh, New York up for a kick-in. So, yeah, it's one. <laughs> Had to remind the, uh, the umpire there to fly the flag. But it's there. So, uh, right now, it's 2-2-14 in favor of the Lady Demons. Lady Pie is yet to score. And the kick-in. Oh, almost taken by Alyssa Green for the Demons. She's got it now. And she sidesteps one tackle. She gets it to the boot. It looks good. Does it have the carry? Oh, it's going to go wide. It's going to be a little offline. Or is it? Everyone's clapping, so it looks like it could be a goal. I thought it went wide, but once again, we're at kind of an odd angle right now, but I'm seeing two flags. Yep. So right there, Alyssa Green, one of the uh, new faces on the uh, Lady Dean's side. Really impressing today with uh, some of uh, what she's done out there, and she kicks a really nice goal there. She's very quick, and you need that up in the forward line. We've been talking about some of the forward line play. Uh, that was a, it was very good because it, it curved back, and like you said, from here, I thought that had gone yeah. behind behind. Well, with, with speed, too. Remember last year we were doing the uh, ladies' final, and any time uh, 20 o'clock, uh, yes. number one for the uh, Denver Lady Bulldogs got the ball, she just flew with it, and that was part of really, you know, if you can have some speed, it, it, it's a really good key to set up, not just to set up the offense and get a move, but really kind of keep the defense back on their heels. You know, look, at, look at some of the, uh, the faster players now, guys in the AFL like Lewis Jetta or Steven Motlop, if I may uh, refer to my beloved Jalon Katz for a second. There you go. And uh, kicked ahead. We were talking about Alyssa Green. She kicks it ahead now, and it goes between everybody. And Tufel's got it now. Tufel tries to kick it, but uh, winds up being marked. Marked there by one of the Lady Pies, or is it? Uh, yes. Okay, yep. I think they were trying because it looks like she was about ready to play on, but and she got lucky otherwise because normally that's play on and she's fair game. Right. And the kick goes wide. And... Uh, there we go. Now it's uh, going to go out. And, are they calling a, a boundary throw-in? Or no. I, I thought I saw a boundary throw-in side. Okay. Oh, holding the ball now. I'm confused. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've got uh, the mark being set up, and I believe he's pointing in the direction of the Lady Demons, so I believe they'd be getting the, uh, the free kick. I can't really Yeah, it's gonna going to be a free kick to the Demons, Bill. Okay. Uh, free kick is there. Might be two kicks from goal, though. Yeah, I would say. All right, they've got it now. A nice kick in, uh, though. We were talking before about uh, whether or not that's Anna Belford. I think it may be because she's <laughs> capable of kicks like that, and she used to play with this Lady D squad a couple of years ago. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think that was uh, Julie. Uh, oh, was it Ga Gailey? Yeah, maybe, Julie maybe. Gailey there. Okay. The flowing blonde locks. Well, right, but Anna Belford's got the flowing blonde locks, yeah. too, which is why you know, I, I'm confused a little bit, but... Uh, can't blame the sun today, Bill. No, I can't. Um, let's see. Emily gets hauled down there. Emily Real takes it, and she's going to get called for holding the ball. Free kick going to the Lady Magpies. Lady Magpies really yet to crack their forward half. They trail by 20 right now. 3 2 20, 2 nil, Nothing, zero. Zippo, Squatsy, and the free kick going. The mark paid and to the Lady Pies. Thank you. Yes. No relation to the uh, former Chicago Bears linebacker. Yes. Okay. All right, and there we go. We're at quarter time after that kick. And uh, we do have the quarter time whistle and the siren and the horn and the thingy that makes the noise when the time is up. And uh, that's going to do it for the first uh, quarter of action. We've got three more yet to go here. Women's 40 action here. It's a combined side today. It's the Boston Lady Demons mixed squad, which is the Boston Lady Demons and the uh, Baltimore Washington Lady Eagles and perhaps maybe a couple of Montreal Angels sprinkled in as well. And the New York Magpies mixed team, which of course consists of players from New York and Montreal. And right now the score stands. The Boston mixed team, three goals, two behind, and 20 points. New York mixed team yet to score. We'll be back next with second quarter action right here on Stateside Footy.
getting set for second quarter action here at the Minuteman Tech field here in Lexington, Massachusetts, where today it's women's footy. It's a combined side. It's the uh, Boston Demons mixed side consisting of players from the Boston Lady Demons and the Baltimore Washington Lady Eagles and, of course, the New York Magpies mixed team as well. New York Lady Magpies and the Montreal Angels are all getting together and uh, having it out here. It's a four-quarter game. Each uh, quarter is 18 aside, uh, 12 and a half minutes. And uh, we're about to go for the second quarter right now of action here as Bruce Rogers gets set to uh, put the ball back up into play and start the second half of action. We've switched the goals, so now the uh, Lady Ds will be attacking the goals, heading to the right of your screen. And the Lady Pies will be going to the goals on the left. And they'll toss it up once again. Sarah Morin to handle the rocking duties for the uh, Lady Demons. Tries to hit it out to advantage. Holly Tufel was there, but one of the uh, Lady Pies got in front. Lady Demons kick it over now. Nikki Blaha trying to get it, but it's kicked away. I believe it was Drea Casillas who got a boot on that. And now we've got a loose ball on the ground, and the kick is smothered. And uh, they bring it back up now. And uh, let's see, going forward there is Nikki Blaha. She goes down to take it up, uh, pick it up rather, and she handballs it over and tries to get it. I believe that's Eileen Hansen in there. No, I'm sorry, that's uh, number 12. Um, I don't have that yet. And... Uh, Let's see, it's kicked ahead now into Lady Demon's territory, but the Lady Pies take it here, and they're going to start to march. Oh, it's blocked. Nice job there. Nice smother by the Lady Demons, and it's uh, knocked ahead there. And uh, Blaha's got it now. She handballs it off, and it's kicked ahead, and it's going to roll. Let's see if they can uh, go for it here and uh, trying to get it there. I believe that's Arredondo, and it's going to be kicked through, and I believe it's going to go through for a behind. So it'll be a point. Yes, it is. So that's officially 3-3-21 now for the uh, Lady Demons mixed team. The New York mixed team yet to score. And they'll take the kick in from their own back goal square. And the kick in comes now, and they kick it up. And it goes off a sea of hands and goes on back onto the ground. Lady D's get it back, though, and uh, they're trying to move it, but they're dispossessed and smothered. And almost looking like a semi kind of rugby scrum in there. But uh, they finally would play the hit the whistle, and they will ball it up. Right near the boundary line on the far wing. For the Lady D's, it's a left half forward flank. And uh, they try and move ahead with it again, taken down from behind, uh, one of the uh, Lady D's players. Emily Reel's got it now. She tries and kick it over, and it uh, goes back to the ground. Kicked ahead again by the Lady D's. Uh, goes into open space now, and uh, going after it there. Let's see, that's, uh, I believe that's Alicia Olsen up there playing it forward. Normally, she's more of a backline person. In fact, she's made some terrific plays today in the backline for the Lady D's. Kicked off. It goes off a couple of hands here. Uh, the Lady D's try and kick it uh, towards goal. And it's uh, once again held there, and a uh, lot of action. And the Lady D's forward half. The defense so far staying straight, staying stout, keeping the ball away from the goals and along the boundary. Kick goes in now. And uh, here the, uh, the coaching advice there. Trying to get somebody in the goal square, which is something uh, in the last game against the uh, Montreal Angels, sometimes the uh, Lady Pies left uh, the goal square a little open and a couple of... Uh, players for the Angels get uh, pretty much uncontested marks right in the goal score. We're able to kick very simple goals. Anyway, it's coming back out now and along the ground once again, and the Lady Pies look to kick it up, and there's a race for it, and it's marked. And I believe it's, uh, let's see, it's kicked up again. Holly Tufel, I think, got it. Takes a bounce, bounces over somebody's head in there, and it, uh, it's going to go to ground, and they'll ball it up once again. Tossed up once again and uh, knocked over. And let's see here. Coming out with it, uh, Lady Pies uh, making an attempt, but the ball goes back to ground. And they kick it out. Kick goes off a hand, but winds up being taken now. Holly Tufel's got it. She's just going to unload, and it calls, uh, kick's going to go well wide. Well wide, and it'll roll out of bounds. Still a good result for the Lady Demons, though, as they'll get the throw in in their uh, right forward pocket. And they'll uh, go to toss it in once again. And uh, it comes up and hit out. And uh, with it now, that's uh, Sophia Redmond for the... Oh, kick there. Goal. I think that was Tufel that kicked it. Um, didn't see the number. What number? Oh, Julie. Julie Gailey, number five, kicked that one. That was Judy Gailey, number five for the Lady Demons. 
four, three, twenty-seven now for the Lady D's. And they'll bring it back up to center, ball it up once again. Just a reminder, you are watching Stateside Footy, the show that brings you Australian Rules Football on American Public Access Television. And if we're not on in your area yet, call your public access center, tell them you'd like to sponsor Stateside Footy and get it on town, see on TV in your town, I should say. We're also available online, obviously, too, on Blip Vimeo and uh, selected episodes on YouTube as well. And let's see here, uh, we've got, it uh, looked like it was a throw. So the Lady Demons are going to get uh, pinged for a throw and it'll be a free kick for the Lady Magpies. And it's kicked ahead now. And a marking contest goes over everybody, but the Lady Pies get it now. Christina Licata's got it. She kicks toward the goals. It'll roll. It'll keep rolling. And it's going to, uh, I believe it was touched on the way. So it's a minor score, but it is a score. For the Lady Pies. So now it's 27-1 in favor of the Lady Ds. Lady Demons take the kick in, goes right past Emily Real. It's going to go close to the boundary line and stay in. It actually stopped right before it rolled over, and it's uh, kicked into the hands, and this one could be out on the full. No, it actually, I think it hit the line. Nope, actually they call it on the full. Yep, New York kick out on the full. So well, they need to, It was on the full. They need to, they need to get her the ball. Otherwise, it's going to be 50. Oh, she's got the ball. There we go. That set up who was taking the kick first. And taking the kick there, that was uh, Renee Koff for the Lady Pies. And let's see, it uh, looks to be another score. It's a minor once again. Lady Pies, two points in a row. Two behinds, two now. Two, the Lady Demons, 4 3 27. Loose ball on the ground, kicked ahead now. I believe that was Tufel again. Kicks it uh, right up the corner, and it takes a fortuitous roll for the Lady Pies. And, uh, however, Gailey kicks it ahead now, and going after it there. Is, uh, Green's got it now. Green after the uh, handball. She's able to uh, get, let's see. Did she dispose of the ball in time? Apparently not. Heather Serpico to get the free kick after the uh, tackle on Alyssa Green. Serpico will uh, get the kick now, and she'll kick it looking for a target there. Almost intercepted. Emily Real tried to jump in, but they were able to connect that one. Nice kick there at number 39 that Sophia Redman has it there. And let's see here. Um, moving and trying to dodge a bit of a tackle there was, was Koff once again. And uh, kicked ahead by the Lady Demons, trying to mark it and getting it in space. Uh, number 10 for the uh, Lady uh, Demons. And let's see here. Goes over, kicked off the ground, soccered off, and let's see. It's going to go, uh, it's going to stop short of the boundary. It'll stay in play, but then it's kicked out. It's going to be out on the full. So it'll be a free kick. Like we said before, it's not only out on the full, it's out in the foliage. And do a little, uh, little forestry exp ex exploration there to, to get the ball back. Either that or we're going to start seeing milk cartons with a picture of a Sharon on it. And they're just going to send in another ball. I'm seeing Lady D's over there, so I'm assuming the kick went off, out on the full off of a New York foot. They were trying to just to get the ball out of danger. But in doing so, kicked that out. I mean, obviously, for something like this, it's almost an impossible angle. The centering ball in front attempted goes off a fist and goes through. I believe that'll be a, yep, that's going to be a minor score. Minor score for the Lady D's. Now it's 4-4-28. And New York to take the kick in once again. And it's kicked in, and it's going to go out uh, towards the wing and almost marked there. Is that Tufel again? She's been all over everything today. 
Lady Pies actually trying to kick it out now. They're just going to go along the wing. A lot of players, though. And uh, with it now, it's Judith Stein kicks it. And I think, let's see, it's going to be marked. Yes. I believe that's Emily Real with it now. And she's just going to put a long kick in, too. Forward 50. Marked. Nice job there by the Lady Demons. And it's kicked over and might be going a little bit wide. Stays in, though. And kicked the front. Oh, it's uh, sprayed wide. And uh, I think that might have gone out of the full. Let's see. Nope. I just wasn't sure whether or not that uh, caught the inside of the poster. And I did. It went inside the post, so it actually was a point. So it's going to be another point for the uh, Lady Demons. Another minor score. So now it's 4-5-29 four, four, to uh, 2 for the Lady Magpies. And the battle once again in the uh, forward 50 for the Lady Demons. They kick it in toward the goals. Almost marked by one of the Lady Pies, but they're able to get it now and kick it out. Goes past everybody. Eileen Hansen in there looking for it. Reel's got it now. Reel moving with it again. Takes a kick toward the goals. And let's see. That's going to be a goal. Emily Reel splits the uprights, kicks it through the big sticks. And now it's 5 5 35. And uh, let's see. Um, here, take that. Damn it. Of course, we're obviously editing this part of it out. Let's see here. Come on, clipboard. All right. And off the ruck, it once again goes and uh, winds up going to the ground. And let's see here. Kicked over now by the Lady Pies. Emily Real Soccer's at ahead. And let's see here. It, uh, they're going down with it. And uh, with it now is Hanson. Eileen Hanson for the Lady Demons. Kicks it ahead. And it's going to be, oh, not, mar not, not quite marked, actually. Uh, I think it looked like uh, Drea Casillas. No, that's not Casillas, actually, but it uh, looked like one of the Lady Pies had gone for it. And it uh, kicked past everybody, and it's going to wind up going through. I believe that'll be another minor score. It will be, indeed. And so now it's 5 6 41. Five goals, six behinds, 41 points for the Lady Demons. And the uh, Lady Magpies mixed team, two behinds, two right now, as they take another kick in from their back goal square. And it's marked. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. And uh, kick actually is going to go a little wide. It's going to be uh, through for another behind. Another minor score for the Lady D's. It's now. Let's see here. And that's halftime here on the ground at Minuteman Regional Tech as we have the game between the Boston Lady Demons mixed team and the Lady Magpies mixed team. Score at the half is Boston, five goals, seven behinds, 37 points. And the New York Magpies, two behinds, two points. We'll be back next with second half action. You're watching Stateside Footy. It's women's footy. The Lady Demons are hosting a tournament, and they're doing a combined 18-a-side game, which is what you're watching right now. And we'll bring in the second half of it next right here on Stateside Footy. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to usafl.com. Find your team. Check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We want the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at usafl.com. Winds are picking up a little bit here at uh, Minuteman High School in Lexington, where today we are watching a uh, combined women's footy game. It's the uh, combined teams wearing the Boston Demons jumpers and the New York Magpies jumpers. The Boston Demons mixed team. It's a mix of the uh, Boston Demons and the Baltimore Washington Eagles, and I think maybe a couple of Montreal players as well. And the Montreal and uh, New York players are playing in a mixed team using the uh, New York Magpies jumpers as we hear the horn, signaling the uh, start of second half action. And it's uh, knocked out of the rock to advantage for the Magpies. That kick went a little sideways, but uh, it's picked up now. And with it there is Kira Lynn. And uh, she was able to kick it ahead. And it's uh, going right now. And the uh, Lady Pies are looking to move it there. Going for it now. It doesn't sit for Casillas, but uh, tried to get it out. And uh, now it's kicked along the ground and taken there. And kicked over. Almost in front of uh, Julie Gailey. 
And here come the Lady Demons. Kicked ahead. Nice kick there. Along the wing and marking it there, Sarah Muscarella. And she's got a couple of players on the lead. And uh, kick in going forward and marking it. Nice job there. I believe that was uh, Judith Stein wearing the number 25 for the Lady Demons. She was part of that Lady Demons, uh, Lady Eagles combined team last year that took second place in the Nationals. And that uh, looks to go wide. I don't know if they'll win caught it or not because the breezes are picking up. But actually, the wind did catch it. Didn't even go for a point. It went out on the full. Went out past the post. So it'll be a free kick for the Magpies in their own right back pocket. And they can oh, that's going to be a shank. And that's going to be a free kick. Free kick for the Lady Demons. Kick going out on the full. And Emily Real taking the free kick for the Lady Demons. And let's see. She's just trying to do a centering ball right now. Marked! I believe that's Holly Tufel again. Absolutely. As I mentioned before, she is a marking machine today. These are responsible for more, more marks and cheap furniture on a hardwood floor. And puts it right through. First points of the third quarter. Holly Tufel. And now it's 6 7 43 for the Lady Demons. And they'll bring it back out to center now. And they'll ball it up once again. After this, of course, there's uh, one more game here today. It's going to be the uh, men's teams battling. The uh, New York, actually not the New York, I'm sorry, New York Lady Magpies are here right now. It's the Philadelphia Hawks coming into town to take on the Boston Demons. We'll have that game in our next edition of Stateside Footy. Stay tuned for that next time. And uh, coming out of the... Uh, the ruck goes uh, through a couple of hands. Eileen Hansen had it for a moment. And the Lady Demons have it again. Kick ahead, uh, bounces a little bit off the ground. And, uh, oh, it won't sit. One of the Lady Pies looking to go in and uh, get it. Winds up going back to ground now. And there's a battle for it right about at the Demons' uh, center half forward. And uh, goes uh, off of a couple of hands. Sandy Dresser going in for it. Also a Judith Stein. She's got it right now. She's dispossessed. And it winds up going. And taking it. Oh, not able to get it to the boot with Sarah uh, Morin. And uh, luckily to avoid... Uh, Improper disposal or holding the ball call there. And kicked up now by the Lady Pies, and it's marked. Lady Pies uh, kick it up. However, getting in there, marking it nice, uh, Lady Demons. Nice mark there, and they're coming back with it now. And uh, kick right up the guts, as they say. It goes off, uh, takes a couple of bounces, but then winds up in uh, Lady Pie hands. I believe that might have been uh, Dre. I'm uh, sorry, that wasn't Dre. I could see it. Huh? That's uh, Sophia Redman on it. And let's see here. That's a kick through, and uh, that's going to be a behind, a single point. A minor score for the uh, Lady Demons. 6 8 44 now. Six eight forty four. And it's uh, kicked in by the Magpies. Goes right, right back into uh, Lady Demon's hands, though. I think that might be Lisa Arredondo. Kicked in off the boot. I believe it was Stein. Got it off the boot and kicked it for a goal. Good job, Emily. No, maybe not. At this point, I have no idea who's who. Just uh, doing the best we can here. Let's see here. Anyway, that was a goal, so it's uh, now seven goals. Eight behind, so that's going to be uh, 50 points altogether now. 7850 the score for the Lady Demons uh, and the Lady Magpies so far still two straight two. And up we go once again. And goes to ground. Green picks it up now. Handball's over to Real. Real gets it over to Gailey. Gailey has it now. Kicks it right up the corner and trying to go for it there. But uh, not being able to was uh, one of the Lady Demons. And now the Lady Pies will try and. Uh, Make something happen with it now. Hits a little bit of a puddle there, and there's a race for it now coming in and uh, stopped and picked up. And the Lady Demons are on the much. Oh, a little bit of a ski jump there, and it's going to. Oh, I tell you, that uh, went right on the line. Out on the full, so it's a free kick. It's going to be a free kick going to the Magpies. And it's going to be a free kick now. 
right? Literally next to our position here. And it's kicked out. That was uh, number 34. That was uh, Kira Leon once again. And uh, here comes Tufel. Tufel has it. She's hauled down from behind. That's holding the ball on a free kick for the Magpies. Nice tackle there by Renee Koff for New York. And she'll take it now. She'll get the free kick. A little far out at this point, but uh, maybe she can set something up in their forward half. Koff to take the free kick. And it's a kick end over end. Nice little drop punt. And winds up going to ground after going through a sea of hands. And it's uh, kicked out now in the Lady D's direction. Lady Pies try and take it, but they can't. And let's see here. Still a battle for it. Uh, it's being held, but uh, it's going to be, I believe it's... Uh... Oh, I see. I think I see a signal for a tug on the jumper. So a free kick will be given to the Lady Pies. And the kick goes ahead now. And it's going to hit in the uh, forward pocket. They're trying to make something happen with it right now. Centering kick, centering ball in front, and the kick. And that's a goal. First major score for the Lady Pies. And now it's 1-2-8. The Lady Magpies with their first major score of the afternoon. I should say this match, anyhow. And now they trail by a score of 50 to 8. 7 8 50 for the Lady Demons, and 1 2 8 for the Lady Pies. And they'll bring it back up to center and ball it up once again. Just a reminder, if you are watching this sport for the first time and it seems very interesting to you and you want to learn more about it, you can check out the American League's website. It's www.usafl.com. Of course, the USAFL being the United States Australian Football League. And it uh, comes out of the ruck and hit out to advantage to Emily Real. And she's just going to kick it ahead, tries to kick it up the corner. And uh, let's see here. We've got uh, all player goes down, but uh, New York comes out with it. Handballs. Uh, she's able to get it before she's tackled. With it now is Green. Green with a centering ball. And we've got a couple of... Uh, Open players there. With it now is Destra. Destra has it. Moves through everybody. Can't get it to the boot, though. She's hauled down and holding the ball. She was within sight of the goals, but then got held up. Brought down. Couldn't get rid of it. Lady Pies, huge defensive play. They will get the free kick in their own, almost just about their own back goal square. And it gets kicked out now. And, oh, goes right over the outstretched hands. I believe that was uh, Morin once again. And uh, going after it now is Green. Green's been everywhere. She's been using her speed a lot. She's been a force. And she's new to the game, and I have a feeling that as she, as she becomes more, more acclimated with the ways of the game and how to play, she's going to be terrific. And uh, tried to get it to uh, Sarah Muscarello. She couldn't get it to the boot, though, to put a shot on goal. And once again, it goes to ground, and uh, a couple of players battling for it. And the whistle will blow, and we'll ball it up once again. Damon's knocking on the door once again. Magpies trying to stop that from happening, and it's knocked out and uh, trying to get it out there. That was uh, the uh, Lady Pies, but they couldn't do it. And now a handball off. Eileen Hansen gets it. The handball from uh, Emily Real. It's got the journey, but it's going to be offline. Oh, it hits the post. That was a poster there for uh, Eileen Hansen. 7-9-51 now, and the uh, Lady Pies once again will take the kick in from their own back goal square. And up it goes. Not marked. Goes off a bunch of hands. Going after it as usual. It's Emily Real. She gets her hands on that ball an awful lot. They uh, kick out up along the uh, wing now. And uh, it's kicked up once again. And marked, it looked like. Yep. No, actually, maybe not. Didn't go far enough. And so there's a race for the ball. Socket ahead by the Lady D's, but the uh, Lady Pies, rather, but the Lady D's will get it. Nice a handball from uh, Eileen Hansen. They do it off now. There's a kick into the forward 50, and it's marked. Nice job once again there by the Lady Demons. Definitely within range of a goal kick here. Definitely within range. And it's got the carry. Has it got the uh, aim? It has. It absolutely does. And now it's 8 9 57. Score stands right now 8 9 57 for the uh, Boston Baltimore Washington mixed team. New York Montreal 1 2 8. Basically, the, uh, the Demons have as many goals as the Magpies have points. Pretty uh, dominating performance by the Lady D's so far today. Actually, the Lady D's and the Lady Eagles facing the uh, Lady Pies and the Angels. 
been part of a great day of women's footy here at uh, Lexington. And uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, checking it out right here on Stateside Footy. And stay tuned. There's more to come. So by all means, don't go anyplace. Keep it right here. It uh, goes again along the wing. And now the Lady D's have it. They try and kick it back into their forward 50. And it uh, bounces off the hands of one of the Lady Pies, but she comes out with it. And she's able to kick it and get it out of the space. But it's taken there. I believe that's Julie Gailey. She's got it. And she'll kick it uh, looking for somebody up front. And it's actually going to go wide. And it's going to roll. And I believe it'll go out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. Still a good result for the Lady D's, obviously. The throw in coming from their uh, right forward pocket. And up we go once again. And... Goes off a couple of sets of hands. Stays in, though. The ball is still alive, and they'll kick it up the wing. Goes over everybody's head right now. I believe uh, Gailey's going to get there first. She's got it now, and uh, she handballs it over. And here come the Lady Demons once again. And the kick goes in. Going after it is real. Bounces off a couple of hands, and the Lady Pies get it now. Handball out. Oh, no, that wasn't the handball. That was a throw. She got pinged for a throw, and the Demons will get a free kick. And who's taking the free kick? It's... I thought it was going to be Emily Real, but I guess not. I think it's Sandy Destra. Sandy will be taking the free kick for the Lady D's. And kicks it up and goes over the head of Holly Tufel. And the Lady Pies have it now. And they kick it. Oh, it takes a weird bounce, but the Lady Pies still get it. But then hauled down. No, no, actually, she was about to be hauled down, but basically held her feet. That's what you get for supposing a call before it happens. And the whistle will blow as it's tied up, and we will have another ball up here. Up it goes, and fisted over right into the hands of Alyssa Green. And she's got some room now. She can open up that room because she's got uh, some terrific speed. She actually gets it back off the ground, and she's making some distance for herself, and she kicks it all right. Oh, actually, no. She couldn't take the mark. She had it. Oh, and then she's wiped out by Green. Oh, my goodness. That was a heavy tackle. And let's see here. Looks like they'll ball it up once again, and that's going to be the three-quarter time horn. The Demons add to their lead, and the Lady Magpies pick up a major score. And at the end of three, the score stands. The Boston Lady Demons, eight goals, nine behind, 57 points. And the New York Lady Magpies, one goal, two behind, eight points. Coming up next, we will have the final quarter of this mixed footy action. It's, uh, once again, the uh, big event here is part of the Boston Lady Demons Women's Footy Tournament. It's the mixed team, Boston and Baltimore, Washington, leading New York and Montreal by a score of 57 to 8. We'll be back next with fourth quarter action. You're watching the show that brings you Australian rules football on American cable television. Of course, we're talking about stateside footy. Lining up and getting set to start the fourth quarter of action in this mixed women's footy match. And at the end of the third term, the Lady Demons are staked to a huge lead. The Boston slash Baltimore Washington Lady Demons they are today. Right now they lead 8 9 57 to New York Montreal. The mixed magpies 1 2 8. Fourth quarter action here between the uh, Demons and the uh, Lady Magpies. They kick it forward, and that's going to go through, and let's see, it's going to go all the way across. It looks like it's going to be a behind. It's going to be a single point, but once again, the Lady Demons getting on the board first. 8, 10, 58 now. And I think that's the second ball we've lost in the trees. At this point, I'm going to have to say, that, you know, the ball is now at center half foliage. And now the Lady Pies will take the kick in from their own back goal square. Almost marked there by Tufel. Nice uh, attempt at a jumping mark there, but the Lady Pies get it. And they're off and running now. They're away. And it's picked up off the ground there. And just a, a big pile. Or as like, we like to call it a twister game on steroids. Let's see here. Going up and down and up and down and up and down. She's trying to dispose of it, and it's going to be uh, balled up. And knocked over, and... Hit out of the ruck to advantage by the Magpies, but then they're able to get an oh, nice little uh, 
scoop and steal there by the Lady Demons, but they can't advance it much further. It's still pretty much at that uh, part of the ground right uh, between the uh, center wing and the Demons' uh, half-forward flank on the left-hand left -hand side, half-forward flank there, and uh, they're uh, kicking it ahead now, and uh, the Demons trying to get away, and the wind's picking up a little bit here at Miniman Tech now. Ball is pretty much uh, still uh, mostly along the ground as the uh, players give chase. Demons are trying to get it right now, but they're heading closer to the uh, New York goals. And uh, the way it looks right now, it's still going to ground. A couple of players battling for it, uh, and that uh, continues. And uh, it's uh, still loose, though. Uh, no whistle yet. No, I guess we're going to have a whistle now, and they're going to ball it up. Uh, the ball was tied up, so umpire Bruce Rogers will put it up for grabs and uh, toss it up. And uh, both rucks get in uh, position, and they get ready to put it back down. And it goes right back down to ground as do a couple of players. And uh, there's still a fight for the ball. Uh, not tied up yet. It's still kind of sort of loose, although it's tied up, and we have another whistle. And once again, we've got the whistle here, and it'll be balled up and uh, knocked over. And it uh, looks like the Lady Pies are looking to advance it once again as they move ahead. And uh, it's going down now with it is, uh, well, nobody at the moment, <laughs> or everybody. could be either of the case, but uh, nonetheless, it'll be tossed up once again by the umpire, Bruce Rogers. Not hit out. Uh, Drake Casillas tried to hit it out to advantage, but couldn't. And it's taken, oh my goodness, Eileen Hansen took it, but then I think she collided with her own player, Green. It's kicked out. Oh, that's smothered. Nice smother there by the Lady Pies. Then she's hauled from behind, although that's going to be a push in the back. Push in the back against uh, Green. It's going to be a free kick for the Lady Pies. With the uh, ball now, that's uh, number 36. And it's a big kick in towards goal. And actually, I uh, got past the hand. She didn't touch it. It's a goal. Second major score for the Lady Pies. It's 2 2 14 now to 8 10 58. And they'll bring it back up to center. We are available online. Obviously, if you're watching this on cable TV and you miss an episode, you want to check us out. We're on uh, Blip TV. It's blip.tv slash stateside footy TV. Also on Vimeo at vimeo.com slash stateside footy TV. Up it goes once again, and they hit out to advantage by the Lady D's, and they're moving with it now. The Lady D's are moving. Kick up uh, was, I believe, that's Hanson, and it takes a weird bounce, though, and winds up in Magpie hands. And, oh, she's able to get around the pressure, but it goes to Tufel now. Tufel is able to kick it with uh, pressure. She was uh, being... Uh, Tackled while she got the kick away. And it's there. Oh, they tried to uh, kick it out right there. And another kick toward the goal. Right there with it and the kick. And I believe that's twofold kicking the goal. That's another goal for the Lady D's. Battle for it in front. And it dropped to the ground. One player would try and pick it up and kick it. Then another player would try and pick it up and kick it. Finally, someone got there. I thought it was twofold, but once again, it's a little uh, hard to see the numbers from here. I thought it was Holly Tufel, but uh, the important thing is it's a goal for the Lady Demons, and they increase their lead now. Their lead back up to uh, 50 now, 9-10-64 to 2-2-14. And everyone uh, getting back in a position. A couple players being swapped out. And the Lady Pies trying to make something happen, but with it now, that's Hanson once again. Kick goes up, and it's marked in defense by the Lady Magpies. I actually believe that's Margot Legault who's got it now. And as she kicks it up there, looking for a teammate on a lead, actually, uh, the defensive marking attempt is spoiled. And it goes to the wing, and a couple of players collide. Still there on the ground. Number of players going after possession, but I think it'll be tied up. And there goes the whistle, and once again, they will ball it up at the far wing. Bruce Rogers puts it up for grabs. And it's knocked uh, to advantage by the Lady D's. Tufel almost had it. Lady D's trying to make something happen here. Lady Pies trying to get some momentum on their own end. They're in a deep hole and do not have much time to dig out of it. Margot's got it now. Margot will go. She kicks it over, looking for a teammate, but it's, one, it's picked up by Eileen Hansen. Hansen handballs it over to Alyssa Green. Green gets. Actually, she gets almost tackled, but she's able to get out of it. Gets it to Hansen. Hansen tries to do a sidestep, and let's see here. And she's whistled. Let's see, there's a whistle there. And it looks like she's going to get pinged for holding the ball. So the Lady Pies will have the free kick. It's marked in defense. Nice job there with the opposition mark. That once again, Alyssa Green for the Lady Demons. Wearing the number seven. She kicks it up now and uh, has a couple of teammates on the lead. Oh, Holly Tufel jumps up just a little too soon, but she might wind up getting to it anyhow. With it now, oh my goodness, there's like five players there, and there's a huge pile, and it's loose trying to get to it there. A couple of Lady Demons players, a couple of Lady Pies too. Green gets in there. She's flattened, and uh, it's kicked. Oh, and that's uh, well wide. I think that might have been uh, Tufel getting it to the boot, 
and it's going to wind up uh, just going over the boundary line, but still good result for the Lady D's because of the fact that they get the boundary throw in in their forward pocket. As we continue to run down on time here, and the final quarter of this match. And Lady Pies come out with it, although it winds up in demon hands now. Try to get it over to uh, Tufel. And with it there is, uh, uh, I'm sorry, that's Tufel. And she makes a kick, and that's going to be, I believe that's a behind. Yep, that's one flag, so it's another minor score for the Lady D's. 9 11 65 now. They continue to build on that lead. 51 points currently. And once again, the uh, Lady Pies will take the kick in from their own back goal square. Kicked up and goes to ground off the hands of Holly Tufel. And she battles with a few magpies over it, a couple of Lady D's in there as well. And once again, it's tied up and they'll just ball it up. Up it goes, hit out to advantage, but then a nice job there by one of the Lady Magpies who uh, took that hit out and uh, was able to get a hand on it so that it didn't wind up going to a Demons player. But now it's uh, kicked ahead, and let's see here. Goes to ground. And uh, it's moving ahead now. The ball is loose. Lady D's trying to make something happen here. Going along the, uh, the wing, up into the pocket, and I believe it's going to roll out on... Yep, it rolled out uh, before it uh, got through the post, so it'll be another boundary throw-in. Left forward pocket for the Lady Demons, and back it goes now. Over everybody, almost uh, gotten there by Real, and it's kicked ahead now by the Lady Pies. Although it winds up in the hands of Eileen Hansen momentarily, she juggles it, and then one of the Lady Ds is able to get, one of the Lady Pies, rather, is able to get in there as well. And it uh, looks like it'll be tied up, and we'll ball it up once again. It'll be tossed up for grabs, and hit out once again to no real clear advantage as both teams are getting right in there. Emily Reel's got it now. She uh, handball goes to Nikki Blaha. Blaha's got it now. She has actually dispossessed the ball back on the ground. Couple of players go down. Number of players go down, and that's uh, going to be, once again, uh, looks like a, a ball-up situation. Although, double-checking here, it still looks like we have a player on the ground. Yep, they're calling Medic, so I believe we do have a player here on the ground. They do need a Medic over there. So they're helping her off the ground right now. The good news is, like uh, with the uh, injury with Eileen Gagan, at least they're able to pretty much uh, get off the ground on their own uh, on their own power. Although they're holding uh, the arm, so I'm wondering if there's type, some type of forearm injury, maybe a sprain or a break or something like that. Uh, but uh, it's going to have to be looked at, obviously. I don't have a uniform number yet, so I'm not sure uh, which, which player it is, but she's being helped off the field right now. And as they get back into action there, the ball heads uh, pretty much on the uh, wing toward the uh, D's, uh, I'm sorry, toward the uh, Pies part of the field. And it's uh, moved up forward. And still going on the ground there. Kick now and uh, not quite marked. She almost had it, but uh, wound up uh, just popping out of her arms and going to ground. And uh, Lady D's trying to uh, keep the momentum going. Lady Pie's trying to get some more points on the board before this one ends. We're pretty much close to full time right now. But uh, getting it now and handballing it, the Lady D's real kicks it once again. Looking for Sarah Muscarella. Takes a bad bounce, though. Uh, bounce favoring the Lady Pies and that little bit of a dip there on that part of the ground. And uh, it's going to roll right over. I, I think uh, Casillas almost had it there. And uh, there's a battle for it now along the ground. And uh, no one really with clear possession yet. And uh, pretty much in a pack. So anytime someone else gets the ball, they're, they're hauled down pretty much in short order. And uh, once again, we will have a ball up as uh, they haul down the player that had the ball. And uh, pretty much uh, everything got tied up. So ball up for grabs once again. And uh, once again, no clear hit out, to, hit out to advantage. But it is kicked ahead. Oh, nice job there off of the kick. Uh, the mark taken in defense. I believe that was Emily Real, number nine for the Lady Demons. She's been everywhere for this club as she normally is. Kick out to Tufel once again. Tufel almost gets it. And, uh, wow, big, uh, big tackle there. But she does get the kick away. Kick attempt there off the ground. Soccer attempt smothered there. And the Lady Pies is trying to get another kick through those big sticks. And we've got a whistle. And holding the ball, free kick going to the Lady Demons. After that tackle, Lady Pies close to their goal. 
sniffing a scoring opportunity, but uh, Lady D's tightening up on D. And with it now, I believe that's Andy Williams who kicks it out. And, oh, Tufel almost gets it again. She's able to corral it and get it, but handballs it to, uh, winds up going, uh, bouncing off the hands of a Lady Magpie. And it's uh, knocked aside and uh, kicked out over by Tufel once again as they turn and move it forward. Greenhall down off the ball, and uh, still a bunch of players there. I mean, Hanson at the bottom of it. And they'll ball it up once again. Up we go. Knocked over once again and uh, right out of the hands of uh, one of the uh, Lady D's players, Lady D Pies players rather. And it goes right into a Lady D's hands right now. And it's kicked up ahead. And here come the Lady D's on the move. Nice little move there. Gets around the tackle. Kicks it along the ground. Looking for Alicia Olsen. Will she make it there? She gets to it. Olsen's got it now. Outruns the pressure and kicks it toward the goals. And let's see, it's probably going to go a little short. And still in play, though. And they've got to end. Is she able to get? Oh, a kick. And it looks like it's going to go right across the face of goal. Over, and I believe that might have gone out of the full. Luckily, they're able to quickly retrieve the ball this time. I think last time we were here, they lost the ball in the woods, too. Pretty soon, the school's going to be able to open up their own AFL club shop and start selling footies. Let's see here. Uh, coming off of that... Uh, Inbounding it once again gets tied up, so we'll have another look at it here. Up for grabs and uh, hit out uh, to no clear advantage again as a, a pack of players go there and the uh, final horn sounds. We are at full time. And the Lady Demons mixed team victorious here on this Saturday afternoon in Lexington. Final score of the Boston Lady Demons mixed team, nine goals, 11 behind, 65 points. And the New York Magpies mixed team, two goals, two behind, 14 points. And that'll do it for the game, but that doesn't do it for this episode of Stateside Footy. We've decided to go into the vaults and give you an extra little treat. We'll play back the game from last year, an exciting match between the Boston Lady Demons and the Montreal Angels. It was the uh, starting match of last year's Lady Demons Women's Footy Tournament. It's a Stateside Footy flashback, and it's coming next, right here on Stateside Footy. Getting set for footy on this Saturday morning right here in Cambridge. They're just about set to ball it up. And the whistle goes. And the ball goes up and we're ready to play some footy. Coming out of the center square now, it's one of the Lady D's. That's uh, number 22. That's uh, Eileen Hansen, one of the new faces for this Lady Demons team. Ball once again goes to ground. A bunch of the ladies battle for it. And uh, coming out now, the Demons still trying to move it. Uh, and uh, holding the ball called against uh, the Lady D's, so it'll be a free kick for the Montreal Angels. So they'll uh, get the first free kick of the morning. And goes over and taken in defense by uh, one of the Lady Demons. And out it comes, a good kick up uh, through the corridor, and it goes through everybody. With it now there, that's the number 17, Sarah Muscarella, one of the uh, newer faces on this Demons Club. Pass going up to uh, Amy Hogue. Handball back. And I believe that's uh, real with it now. And that's a goal! Got to double check the, uh, the number there. Yep, that's uh, Emily Real, all right, number nine. So the Lady D's with the first points of the match. The goal by Emily Real. And the Demons, the Lady D's, go to a quick lead, one straight six to a nil, or zero, or nothing, or Zippo, diddly squat, whatever you want to call it. But uh, early scoring here, first major of the morning. And it goes to the Lady D's. 
coming out of the center contest. Once again, uh, Demon's trying to get the clearance. The race for it right now, and first one uh, there's going to be uh, Sarah once again, Sarah Muscarella. And it comes through, and uh, I believe that's uh, Emily Real with it. Once again, another kick. It's going to go toward the sticks, and that's going to be out on the full, it looks like. Just uh, came short to the right of the goalpost, so the uh, Angels will have the free kick to be taken by Tara, number 14. And she kicks it up, and it's out on the full. So now the Demons will have a free kick. Apparently, uh, part of the field is closed, and uh, Mark Sleet, the boundary umpire, has to hop over the uh, partition there to uh, get the ball back. And the free kick going to the Lady Demons. Kick uh, going through, and it's headed toward the sticks. It's going to be out on the full again. So Boston kicked it out on the full. On the ensuing free kick, Montreal kicked it out on the full. And on the ensuing free kick, Boston kicked it out on the full again. So... Right now, we've had more kicks go out on the full than we've had scoring shots. And uh, Mark is taken. Taking the mark off the free kick there, one of the Angels. And she kicks it ahead. Nice kick. It's going to drop, though. And uh, giving chase there is Eileen Hansen. And it's going to go out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. Eileen Hansen wearing the number 22 for the Lady Demons. She is one of the newer faces on this squad and also one of the newer faces on the uh, United States Freedom Team. She actually made the national team as, long, uh, as well as three other Lady Demons. Emily Real, no surprise there. Also Nikki Blaha and Christina Calvillo. And uh, coming out of that contest, it's a uh, pin, and they're going to ball it up again. Bruce Rogers tosses it up and goes over and... Emily Real tries to go for it now. She soccers it ahead. Can't get it off the ground, though. She's being harassed by a couple of the Angels. And, oh, oh my goodness, a nice play there by Real. One of the uh, Lady uh, Angels, uh, was uh, Margo, was going to come away with it. But uh, Emily Real got a hand in late and stopped her from cleanly clearing the ball. Uh, they've got it now. There's a big kick. It's going in and settling under it. Nobody because it goes to ground. A couple players crash. It's still alive, though. And going for it now. And, oh, is that a smother? That was a smother. Oh, my goodness. Who was that? Number six, Alicia Olson. Or is it eight? I can't see from here. Uh, no, it looks like six. Alicia Olson. There was a kick, and it looked like the Angels were about to get their first scoring shot, but uh, Olson came in and smothered it. Winds up going out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. And uh, now with it, there's a kick there, and it looks like it's going to be a, a point. And let's see, is that, uh, didn't, I thought he was holding up one flag and they're setting up, it looks like they've got it behind because they're setting up to take the kick in, indeed they are. Okay, and the uh, kick was made by number two, Leslie Delaney. So Leslie Delaney with the first points for the Angels and the kick in comes in, taken out, kick toward the sticks, knocked away and they can't get the ball cleanly. Big battle for it. Pretty close to the goal, but it comes out now. Nikki Blaha's got it, but then she's dispossessed. Goes to ground. Emily Real battling for it. And it looks like uh, they'll freeze it again. We'll ball it up. So, so far, the score is for Boston. Uh, it's real. Emily Real. Leslie Delaney with the kick for Montreal. And with it now, that's all oh, that she can't hold on to it. They almost had uh, a free opportunity there. Taken out by Calvillo. And free kick is given to the Demons. A lot of contact was made. I believe uh, Real's going to get the free kick, if I'm not mistaken. I know Calvillo had it. And actually, I'm sorry, the kick was going the other way. When uh, Bruce Rogers was pointing, he wasn't pointing at the Lady Ds, he was pointing at the mark. So actually, the uh, free kick is going to the Montreal Angels. And the kick is taken by number 10. Number 10 is Amy Legault, one of the uh, stalwarts for the Montreal club. It does go wide to the right, though. As a result, it's a behind. So now Montreal trails by a score of 6-2. to two. I mentioned the other scorer for Montreal, uh, Leslie Delaney. If that name sounds familiar, it should. She's actually a Lady Demon. But in order to even out the sides, a couple of the Lady Demons players went over to play with uh, Montreal jumpers on for their team, and uh, Leslie Delaney being one of them. The other being Carrie Boisel, I believe, another new name for the Lady Ds. And uh, the Lady Ds now have it. Kick goes over everybody, and... With it there, oh, almost had there by uh, Lydia Holt. And Reel's got it now. She's held, uh, she's knocked down, taken down, dispossessed. But she was able to get the ball to the boot. 
Kicked ahead now, right over Holt's head, but it's gonna go and it's gonna be a goal. Not sure who kicked that one. I think it was Amy Hogue who kicked that one. So far, each team have had two scoring shots, Montreal two minors, Boston two majors, and they now lead to straight, to two straight 12 to two behinds two. And they'll bring it back to center and ball it up once again. And as you can hear, the wind is really kicking up here on the ground, and uh, with it now, that's uh, Andy Williams, another player who has actually uh, made the trip over to the uh, Montreal Colors for this uh, match. Andy Williams, of course, another one of the uh, Lady Demons, normally. And off the boundary throw in, tapped ahead. And going for it now, that's uh, Lisa Arredondo, number 11, in there as well. That's number 22, that's Eileen Hansen again. Real kicks it ahead, looking for Holt. She's got Holt now, although Holt can't get out of the tackle of uh, Tara. Ball goes to ground. Whoop, and we've got a whistle. And uh, I believe that's Rusty Smith. It's got to be Rusty Smith. He's wearing the West Coast Eagles jumper. And uh, the free kick given to the Angels. So Rusty Smith sets the mark. And the kick is taken by... Uh, Number 19, who's Kelsey. And the mark taken, that's Christina Calvillo for the Lady Demons. And she kicks it up ahead. And Lydia Holt takes the mark. She's marked it now. Sarah Muscarella going up to a play ahead for the Lady Ds. Going up forward as well as Amy Hogue, number seven. Kicked up ahead and goes through everything, and I think that's a behind. Indeed it is. So Lydia Holt with her for first point of the day. It's now 2-1-13, Boston leading uh, Montreal. We mentioned uh, some of the uh, men's players from the Demons team helping out, uh, one of them being uh, Ari Jonik. Ari's recognizable with the hair. And let's see it. Uh, Kick in is taken, winds up in the hands of Amy Legault, and she'll move it ahead now. Taken off the ground, uh, she tries to move it ahead, she can't do it, but Emily Reel's got it now. She kicks it ahead, goes right past Hogue. Calvillo in there battling for it as well. Calvillo goes down, and she is not getting up. She went down kind of hard. I'm gonna stop play for a moment here while they take a look at her. Did go down looking to get the ball. She, uh, the landing was a little on the awkward side. And she's being helped off the ground there by P.J. Devine. So they're calling in an interchange from the Lady Demons bench, obviously. And up it goes once again. Tipped ahead by Hanson. She gets the ball now off the ground. Kicks it, but it goes off a hand. It's smothered. And oh, we've got uh, a little bit of contact there. Kicked uh, toward the uh, goals there. The Lady D still trying to press it ahead. In there, Sarah Muscarella, also Eileen Hanson. And I believe the ball's gone out of bounds. So Mark Sleep will uh, do a boundary throw in. And it's tapped out to hit out. Not to advantage, though, by Hanson. Taking the ball now, that's uh, Kelsey, number 19. She kicks it ahead, and it's taken in defense by one of the Lady Demons. And it's kicked well ahead, and it goes through everybody. I believe it's just going to be out of bounds, it looks like it is. It's a good result for the Lady Ds, though, as they'll have the uh, boundary throw in at their uh, right forward pocket. We see another familiar round of jumpers orbiting the field as the New York Lady Magpies have shown up. They're doing their uh, warm-up uh, laps around the field right now. And uh, off the throw-in, it's kicked ahead. Getting around real there, that is uh, Amy Legault. She kicks it ahead, but it falls short, and it's taken. And I believe that's uh, 
Olsen with it now. She tries to take the bounce. Can't field it. We've got a whistle. And uh, referee Bruce Rogers pointing at the mark and indicating the free kick, which I believe is going to Montreal. No, actually, it's going to the Demons. It's going to the Lady D's. Everyone gets set to uh, take their positions and get ready for this kick. Probably a makeable kick from this distance. Double checking it here. Kicked ahead. And marked! Right in front. That's uh, Sarah Muscarava. And... That's a behind. So now 2-2-14. Two, two, two majors, two minors. And uh, off the uh, kick, and it's kicked ahead. Now the go has it. She kicks it ahead, giving chase is Andy Williams. She's able to get it off the ground, but then she's dispossessed. Battle forward now, it's dropped a couple of times. And it goes over to Real now. Real with a kick goes over the head of uh, Hogue and also Lydia Holt. And getting to it is number 14. That's uh, Tara for the Lady D. Uh, I'm sorry, for the uh, Angels. Oh, nice job there. That was Emily Real dispossessing one of the Montreal players as it looks like she had a smooth sailing. Kicked ahead there by Arredondo, number 11. With it now is Real. Real's able to kick it ahead, and it goes, uh, lands between a couple of Lady Demons, but it's taken now by Amy Hogue. Amy Hogue taken from behind, still able to hold on to it, and, oh, it's actually a trip. It's a low tackle. As a result, Hogue's going to get the free kick. And kick is headed in toward the net, and Lydia Hogue takes it, marked right in front, right in the goal square. Lydia's got one behind so far. She could add a goal to that right here with a kick. Moves it a little bit to get it to an advantageous spot to the foot, and she's kicked the goal. So the Demons increase their lead now. The Lady D's, 3-2-20 to Montreal, two behinds, two. Lady D is showing some punch at the uh, beginning of this uh, inaugural tournament of theirs. It's the first year they've had this, of course. This is their second year in existence. Last year, they got off to a promising start, and they've been doing it even better here. And they'll ball it back up at center. And up we go, and... Hit out to advantage. At least she tried to hit it out to advantage. It was handsome, but uh, a little bit of contact afterwards. You're going to pay the free kick. Free kick paid to Amy Legault for Montreal. Big kick in toward the goals. And it's going to bounce. And it's going to be taken and kicked. And it's going to wind up from behind. Number four, Lindsay kicked that one. Great opportunity for Montreal. They just couldn't capitalize on it. And now it's three behind three to the Lady D's 3 2 20. Lady Demon's ready to take the kick in. And uh, they put it over to Hansen. Hansen's got it now, and she is uh, looking for somebody to kick the ball to. The ball's away, and it goes right through the hands of, of uh, Amy Hogue and actually hit a, a, an Angels player right in the face. Looked like that really hurt, and indeed it did. She's holding her nose. I hope it's not broken. That would not be good. And now the free kick being given to the... Uh, Angels, Tara has it now, number 14. And she kicks it and it goes off. 
Of course, what you're hearing blending in with the microphone here, a lot of wind around here today, which is why you notice our uh, customary aerial shot we're not going to be using today. And coming back with it now are the Lady Demons. Hogue has it now. Hogue kicks it and it goes off of um, Marie. And kicked ahead now, and oh, it goes right through the uh, hands of uh, Margot. Margot go, and it actually it's going to go through for a behind. Didn't see who kicked that one. Maybe it was Amy. That's the advantage with having a television crew here. If worst comes to worst, I can go over the tape later and figure out who kicked what. Angels will take the kick in now. And, oh, nice juggling mark there. And that's Tara once again. And that kick goes up. Nice spoil by Hansen. Eileen Hansen for the Lady Demons. Knocks it ahead, uh, getting it there is Arredondo. Hansen reaching down for it. It's a battle for it, still on the ground. And it's loose. Hansen taken down. And it looks like it's uh, out of bounds. Or was it a push? Anyway, it's a free kick for the Lady Demons. Goes in between everybody. Winds up being picked up there by uh, Margot Legault. And then, oh, hauled down there. Just getting the ball away was Tara. And then it uh, goes out of bounds. Goes out on the full, actually. So, And we are at halftime. First half of the uh, first match of this Lady Demons Australian Rules football tournament is in the books here at Briggsfield on the campus of MIT in Cambridge. At halftime, the score is the Montreal uh, Angels, no goals, three behinds, three points. And the Boston Lady Demons, three goals, three behinds, 21 points. We'll be back next with second half action. You're watching Stateside Footy, the program that brings you Australian rules football played in America. We bring it to you on cable and online at www.statesidefootytv.com. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com, find your team, check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We want the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. We're about ready to start the second half of the action today in this first game of the Boston Demons Tournament, the Boston Lady Demons Tournament, I should say. And uh, right now the Lady Demons are leading off this opener. They lead at halftime by a score of 3-3-21 three, three, to 0-3-3, three, 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 three behinds three. And uh, right now it, uh, it's looking good for the Lady Ds. We'll see what happens in this uh, second half. The wind is uh, coming to play a little bit, obviously. Wind is heavy. Sometimes if you get a long kick, it might uh, blow it a little off course. Or in some cases, a little on course. So... <laughs> You just uh, take the occupational hazards as they come. About to be tossed up at center now. As uh, the umpire Bruce Rogers is getting set to uh, put the ball up for grabs. And now he blows the whistle and here it comes. And Eileen Hansen in the ruck four. The D's looking to hit out to advantage. And it starts off with uh, Montreal on the move. And uh, kick uh, goes right past uh, number six, Alicia Olson. She's got it, though. It's going to go out of bounds, though. And we will have a boundary throw in. Boundary umpire Mark Slee with it now, about to toss it in. As it goes up for grabs, and it's uh, tapped right out and uh, back into the hands of Hansen, who's able to get away with it now. She's got some space, and she's able to move. She kicks ahead, and the mark is not taken. It goes to ground. She couldn't cleanly handle it. Now a whole bunch of players go down with it. And uh, with it there, oh, taken down there is Margot Legault, taken down by a Lady Demon. With it now is Emily Real with some space to go, and she can kick it. She gets it free, and it's going to miss everything. It looks like, or Holt. Holt didn't mark it, but uh, more important, she was able, I believe, to get it before it went over the line. Therefore, it's not off on the full and a free kick. Rather, it's a boundary throw in in the Lady D's forward pocket. With it now is Hansen. Hansen gets held up pretty quickly, though. She's going to have to dispose of it. Oh, actually, Bruce Rogers says she didn't have prior opportunity, so he's just going to ball it up. 
And she uh, hits right up to advantage. Emily Real with it, though. And it's going to bend, and it's going to go through. It goes through for a point. Emily Real with the uh, minor score there. And the kick in taken by the Angels. They try and move it ahead. Battle forward now along the ground. Soccer into space. And we've got another player down for the Lady D's. And uh, that's uh, Hanson. I wonder if she's cramped up too. Which appears to be what happened to Christina Calvillo because uh, she was up and walking and seemed to be getting around fine. So that was uh, my guess as to uh, possibly what happened there. With it now is number 21, Sandy Destra. Another one of the new faces for the Lady Demons. And nice little shepherd there. And here comes Real with it again. Real with a kick, takes a bounce, goes off of uh, the shin of Amy Hogue. Taking it out there now is uh, Marie for the uh, Angels. Goes past Destra and goes past Nikki Blaha, too. One player back for the Ds, and she's able to get it. That's Alicia Olsen. Can't get it off the ground, but she was able to suck her out of danger. She's taken ahead. That tackle looked a little high. With it now is Real. Real kicks it ahead before she gets tackled, and it's just going to go to ground. Amy Hogue picks it up now. And she's trying to dispose of it, and it's going to be balled up. She tried to dispose of it, but uh, she was tackled just as she got the ball. So there's no prior opportunity, so they weren't going to call holding the ball on it. Coming out now, Hanson going for it, and it's uh, soccer to head by one of the Angels. And with it there at number 19, that's Kelsey, who gets hauled down by Olsen. Olsen with a couple of key moves here in defense for the Lady Ds. And let's see. A little bit of harassment now. The uh, Angels are trying to get it away. And it's kicked now and uh, moving and going for it is Nikki Blaha. Misses it though and with it now it's number four, Lindsay. And Lindsay kicks a goal. Saw the first major score for the Montreal Angels. And the score now stands Boston 3 4 22 and Montreal 1 3 9. And so they'll send it back to center where, once again, umpire, umpire Bruce Rogers will put it up for grabs. And it goes off. Um, Montreal able to hit out to advantage. And here it goes. Now settling under it. Not able to take the mark, though, is number 19, Kelsey. And it's going to go out of bounds right in front of our main camera position. It'll be a boundary throw in. Throw it back in. Knocked ahead, but then taken. And with it now, that's uh, Margot Legault. And she's going to kick it. It's going to roll. It's going to go out of bounds. But still a good result for the Angels as now they get a boundary throw in in their left forward pocket. And early even of the Demons working as a boundary umpire here. Uh, knocked out. And... Uh, just as she gets it, uh, Leslie Delaney taken down by a couple of Lady Ds. With it now, here comes Olsen. Olsen to Real. Real can't get away with it, though. And free kick. Or is it? No, they'll ball it up. Get out to advantage by uh, Montreal. And uh, trying to get it ahead there, but uh, not able to is Delaney. Real has it now. Real kicks it over. Didn't uh, go uh, long enough for Hogue to uh, get a mark. With it now is Margot Legault. She kicks it toward the sticks, and it's going to go, and it'll roll through. That's a goal, I believe. Yep. Margot Legault with a the goal there. All of a sudden, Montreal comes rolling back. Last two times these team met, uh, teams met was in the... Uh, Quebec International Cup, uh, the preseason cup, which happened the same day as the uh, Demons hosted the New York Magpies to start off the season. And that when the uh, Angels emerged victorious. Emily Real has it now. The Demons have to start uh, making some points themselves. It's going to bounce. And with it there is Amy Hogue. Hogue kicks it in towards the sticks. And there's a battle for it. Uh, Calvillo in there trying to battle. I'm sorry, that's not Calvillo. That's uh, Lisa Arredondo, number 11. And uh, let's see. The uh, Angels try and kick it out. No one but Lady D's there. They kick it out to try and get it over to Real. Real's got it now. She's got to get rid of the kick. It's bending back too far, though. And it's going to go. It looks like it's actually going to go out of bounds. No, ball's still in play. Arredondo with it now. She's taking the ground. 
He's able to handball it over. Lydia Holt with a kick, and that's going to be a behind for Holt. But the Lady D's have stopped the rod, as they say. At least for now. 23 to 15 now in favor of the Lady D's as we continue in the second half of this first match of the Lady Demons Tournament. And off the uh, Angels kick in, it's sent all the way up and out of bounds, actually. Be a boundary throw in at about the uh, Lady D's, uh, almost on the center wing, actually. Pretty much on the center wing, the uh, left center wing for the Lady D's. And uh, they try and hit out to advantage. And it's soccer to head into space. Emily Real is there, and she's got some space. She's able to move, and she kicks it down toward the sticks looking for Lydia Holt. Holt is in there. Looks like the Montreal player will get there first. Nice shepherd, though, by uh, Holt. And uh, the Angels have it now, and it's just going to be a kick into space. Who's going to be there first? It looks like it's going to be Olsen. Olsen with it now. She's running towards the goals. She kicks it, and it's going to go. I believe Holt's got it. Uh, no, it goes back to ground, though. And the Angels out with it again. And it goes over everyone's head. And it's coming through the center of the ground. And with it now, that's Lindsay. She's got a goal already. And she's being harassed by Nikki Blaha and also Sandy Destra. And... And uh, Sandy Destra's got the free kick for the Lady Demons. And she kicks it over looking for Emily Real, but it's spoiled there by Margot Legault. And in there, Destra loses it, and Lindsay kicks it now. Another kick toward the goals. Another kick through the goals. And all of a sudden, this game is getting really tight. 3-3-21 now for the uh, Angels. 3-5-23 for the Lady Ds. Lady Ds right now just lead by two points. Coming into this half, they were up 21 to three. And comes up again and trying to hit out to advantage once again is Eileen Hansen. However, here come the Angels once again. It's smothered there. Nice job there. I believe that was uh, Emily Real with it. She's got it now. Tries to kick it ahead, but she's harassed. Right now, the Angels have numbers. And they're trying to get it out. Uh, a little bit of a collision, though, maybe too much as far as numbers go. Olsen's got it now. She uh, just uh, tries to soccer it ahead. And trying to get it there is Amy Hogue. Tries to hit it over. Everyone obviously looking for Amy Real, who's the uh, the gun of this club. With it now is Hogue. Hogue kicks it uh, toward the, uh, the goal area. And the mark taken by the Angels, and they'll just run with it. Try and make something happen out on the fat side of the ground right now. And it comes over, and... Uh, it's handled there by Lindsay now. Lindsay gets past Destra, but not past Nikki Blaha. And holding the ball, Nikki Blaha is going to get the free kick, I believe. Nice job there. Once again, Nikki Blaha, one of the uh, Boston Lady Demons representatives on this year's national team for the U.S., the U.S. Freedom, which actually plays against the uh, Canadian national team in the 40, 49th, is it 48th? It's the Parallel Cup coming up. And the mark is taken there by the Lady Demons. The, uh, the 49th Parallel Cup, which is taking place in Ohio in the first week of August. Kick in, uh, looking for real. And it actually winds up going to Becky for the Angels. She kicks it out now. That's a big kick and goes over ahead. And uh, going after it now is Olsen for the Lady Demons. She shepherded away, though. Kicked ahead by Blaha. But Montreal's got numbers at the moment. Picking it up now, that's number 12. That's Andy Williams. Of course, Andy Williams normally a member of the Lady Ds. And, oh, nice shepherd there by uh, Tara, shepherding uh, Arredondo off the ball. And we've got a whistle, and uh, someone tugged the jumper, and we've got a free kick. And the free kick is going to the, uh, the Angels. And coming in, and mark taken by Leslie Delaney. Delaney takes the mark. Delaney with the first point of the game for the Angels was a minor score. And, oh, she whiffs a little bit on the kick there. First one there is going to be Emily Real. She can get it. She's got it cleanly. Kicks it out now, trying to get it over, but uh, can't make the kick deep enough to go to Arredondo. And it's kicked ahead by the Angels. Soccer to head once again. And Mar mark taken by Leslie Delaney, but she's played on, so she's got to play with it. And it's uh, a point. Leslie Delaney kicks another behind. 
And the game gets tighter now, 23-22. Just one minor score separates these two clubs as we get into the later action of this second quarter. And the kick goes over, and it's loose. And Emily Reel's going to have it. She's able to get it away. It's a race for it now. Getting away with it there. That's Sarah Muscarella. And the kick goes to an unpopulated part of the field. Sarkin ahead by Montreal. Gotten there by Olsen. She's taken down, though. Destra's got it now, and let's see. Uh, free kick's awarded. I believe it's a high tackle. And the free kick going to Olsen, who indeed uh, got clocked a little bit up there up high. She's going to take the free kick now, and it goes ahead. And it's not marked by one of the Lady Demons. And once again, winds up in the hands of Emily Real, who gets it over now. And we get a whistle. And the free kick going to Montreal. I'm not sure if it was holding. I didn't see the signal. I'm not sure if holding the ball or maybe looked like it might have been a throw. Mark taken in defense there. That's Eileen Hansen for the Lady Demons. And kicks it ahead now, looking for real, looking for anybody. And it's marked there by the uh, Angels. That's Amy Legault. And she's going to move it ahead. She's got some space now. Kicks it toward the goals. And it's rolling. And it's going to be. It's a point. Scores are level. Scores are level now. 23-23. The Demons with the kick in again. Big comeback by Montreal, and the kick going out there looking for Emily Real. And uh, Margot Legault has it now. She's taken down by Olsen. It's a good tackle. Blaha's got it now. Blaha kicks it ahead. Trying to get it to, uh, I believe that was uh, at least uh, Muscarella. Yeah, Sarah Muscarella. And it goes back. And uh, Destra going after it as well as Leslie Delaney. And it's a crash between the three players, still loose. Delaney gets it now on the ground. She's able to handball it out. And it still goes to ground. And we've got a whistle. And uh, they're going to ball it up. Tight moments here for both clubs. Scores are level. And it goes down now. And with it, here comes Hanson. Hanson's able to get free. Tries to kick on the lead, uh, looking for and not getting. One of the Lady Demons, but uh, Legault can't pick it up cleanly. Boom, and kick, though. And that's a behind. That's a goal. Amy Legault. A moment ago, she leveled the scores. 4-5-29. Demons all of a sudden down by a kick. Late in the uh, second half here. Montreal Club for a while has been uh, one of the uh, real class teams of the North American footy community. And let's see. It goes, and where is it going from here? Going towards the sticks, and it's going to go through for a behind, it looks like. Indeed, it's a behind. Didn't see who kicked it, but uh, minor score, 3-6-24. And that's going to do it. Looks so promising for a while for the Lady Demons hosting this tournament, but uh, a late goal by Amy Legault seals it for the uh, Montreal Angels. They wind up victorious in this first game here at the Boston Demons Lady Tournament today, Boston Lady Demons Footy Tournament today. Final score, full time, the Montreal Angels, four goals, five behinds, 29 points. And the Boston Lady Demons, three goals, six behinds, 24 points. That's going to do it for this edition of Stateside Footy. Of course, that doesn't do it for the action for the ground here today. And in the next episode, we'll bring you the men's match between the Boston Demons and the Philadelphia Hawks. Till then, on behalf of my camera people, Savannah Hubbard, Stacey Robert, John Cimino, Bob Boyce, Connor Shute, and Kyle Shute, I'm Bill Robert, and thanking uh, Brian Barish for coming in a little bit, too, and helping out with the commentary. Reminding you, too, that uh, Stateside Footy is available on cable and online. Check us out at www.statesidefootytv.com. We're on blip, blip.tv slash stateside. Footy TV, as well as Vimeo, Vimeo.
vimeo.com slash stateside footy tv and you can check us out on twitter follow us at bill r underscore ss footy and follow us on facebook throw us a like at stateside footy tv and after that whole mouthful of 9,000 web links i'm bill robert thanking you for tuning in today to stateside footy